My name is uh, Peter Wanyande. I um, come from uh, Kenya in Africa and um, I've been uh, teaching at the University of Nairobi um, since 1985 and I teach in the Department of uh, Political Science and uh, Public Administration and uh, as a teacher at the university I am also involved in uh, conducting research on uh, various issues uh, affecting uh, development um, not only in Kenya but in Africa uh, because my area of study is of, of teaching is in uh, comparative politics of developing areas with a focus on Africa and in that on that basis therefore I do a lot of research on issues to do with the development in Africa. Um, I was invited to uh, this conference um, because of the kind of uh, research that I have done in the past dealing with issues of how governments um, uh, initiate policy um, to address and to uh, solve problems of development, uh, not only in Kenya but uh, also in Africa. Um, I was also invited because for the last five years, that is between January 2011 and December 2015, I, uh, I was on leave from the university and worked as a commissioner with a constitutional commission in Kenya known as the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution. Um, the background to this is that um, in August 2010, Kenya adopted a new constitution. Uh, known as the Constitution of Kenya 2010. And um, the nerve center of that constitution is devolution, um, where the country is moving away from a hitherto centralized uh, governance structure to a much more devolved and decentralized system of governance. And so at the commission, I was uh, appointed um, as the commissioner in charge of devolution. And my job there was to monitor and oversee the actual full implementation of the devolved system of, of, of government. And part of the devolved system of government uh, is to uh, ensure that there is equitable development in Kenya. And that constitution, and in particular the chapter on devolution, provides for three uh, things that would uh, facilitate uh, equitable um, regional development in Kenya. One of them is uh, the equalization fund. The Constitution provides that there will be a, a, an equalization fund that will be used to bring about development in the hitherto marginalized areas of Kenya. So that fund is uh, managed by the national government and it is meant to be spent on um, things like electricity, water, roads, and, and, and so that those, those areas that were marginalized, those areas that were underdeveloped, can be brought up to the level of the other uh, counties that were actually uh, much more, more developed. In addition to the um, equalization fund, uh, the Constitution also provides for uh, what we call conditional grants. Again, the government is required to provide special grants to counties to um, spend on very specific um, issues, very specific uh, facilities, very specific uh, uh, development projects, so that again, that can help those counties uh, develop. Finally, the Constitution of Kenya 2010 provides that um, a minimum of 15% of the nationally raised revenue must be given to counties to enable county governments um, f uh, fund or finance the function that have been assigned to them by the, by the Constitution. So that is um, something that I've been overseeing uh, for the last five years in the Commission. And so I guess my invitation here was also meant to enable me share with the participants from Latin America and indeed from the rest of the world on how this um, Constitution of Kenya 2010 is helping to um, reduce rural or territorial poverty and inequalities. And that is what I actually did. I made a presentation um, on, on, on um, the role of devolution in Kenya um, in addressing territorial inequalities in, in our country. And, and, and we're really concerned about this, and this is the importance of this conference for me, that uh, territorial or regional inequality is a fact in Kenya. And it is a problem that has been acknowledged 
um, by government and, and as I said, this has also been acknowledged in our constitution that it is a major challenge. Uh, there have been many interventions in the past that were introduced to try and reduce regional inequality, but those interventions have not, uh, have not succeeded. And we're asking ourselves why. And tentatively, we think it has something to do with really lack of commitment by government to uh, ensure that those, commitment, those interventions are actually enforced. Um, and, and you'll remember that um, these interventions have uh, been mainly administrative in nature. They have tended to be based on law and policy. But now we are saying in Kenya that maybe that is also a problem. We need to have these interventions uh, anchored in the, in the Constitution because the Constitution is supreme and everybody, including the President, is bound by this Constitution. So these provisions in the Constitution should force even the President and government in general to ensure that uh, uh, interventions of, on regional inequality are actually addressed. And it is our hope that this will actually happen. I did share with my colleagues um, some of the difficulties that we are experiencing in terms of using devolution to um, bring about, uh, um, to, to get rid of regional inequalities. I did uh, mention a number of them, but uh, for this purpose I'll just highlight one or two. One is really that uh, the national government um, in Kenya is reluctant to actually um, uh, respect the county level government and uh, therefore there's a lot of tension and conflict between the national and county governments over functions that are actually meant to be uh, performed by the county governments. And we are working on that to try and see that uh, both levels of government respect each other's functional demarcations and so on. So I did share a number of these uh, challenges and we do hope that other countries could also um, uh, learn from this, just as we learn as Kenyans from also the other experience, uh, experience from the other countries that are represented in, 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 in this workshop. Um, apart from making that presentation, I also had an opportunity to um, actually this morning um, to share with the participants in a plenary um, what I thought were uh, the, the, the highlights of yesterday's meeting, the positive things that I had, but also some of the things that I thought were, were not uh, addressed, which should have been addressed to enrich this conference. And I, and I did that this morning. And, and, and this half, um, in about an hour's time, I will be in another session um, chairing a, a, a group, a parallel group session on issues to do with the um, regional economic development, uh, investments and so on, and private sector investment, and see how those can actually uh, contribute to um, uh, getting rid of regional uh, inequalities. So um, I have learned a lot, and I do believe that uh, from this uh, uh, workshop, uh, I'll be able to um, uh, coordinate uh, better with my colleagues back home in the universities and in research institutions on how we can approach issues of uh, uh, regional inequality, not just through the use of our devolved system of government, but also from the experiences that we have learned from other countries in this conference.